Hey, this is Ian Franzen, the College Web Pro. In this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how to log into your cPanel, and I'm going to show you how to reset your password if you don't know how to do that. So this is what your cPanel looks like. It's um, it's a, a little bit interesting because it, it lets you do a few things with your web hosting account that you might want to do. If you click on email accounts, you can create email accounts attached to your domain name. Um, they can be anything that you want and um, you know you can send and receive messages from you know up to 10 email accounts. You can also look at the website statistics like who's visiting your website. Um, if you scroll down to it should say AW stats, it'll let you see who's viewing your website. Um, you can also install applications on your server. If you scroll down to Softaculous and click on that, you'll see various um, web programs that you can install, like WordPress, shopping cart applications, um, all these categories of here. You know, there's hundreds of different applications you can play around with and install on your server. Um, what else? You can set up email forwarders. You can set up autoresponders. Um, you can manage the files directly on your web hosting. So if you click on File Manager, it'll show you all the files that are stored on your web hosting server. So if you want to upload an image or an MP3, um, you know you can click on File Manager and, ma and manage the files directly that are stored on your server. But if you don't know how to do that, it may be better not to because you don't want to mess up your website. So to log into the cPanel, you want to go to www. Um, your domain name, whatever that is. So whatever your you know, replace collegewebpro.com with your domain name, and um, then type in slash cPanel. So right now I have it set to log me in automatically, but you'll be prompted for your cPanel username and your password. So like I said, it's, it's set up to log me in automatically, so you didn't see it very well there. But you should enter in your cPanel username and password. That's in an email that you got when you originally set up your account. It has the subject line, Welcome to College Web Pro. You'll see your cPanel login information. Um, you can also reset your cPanel if you want. So if you want to reset that login information, you can go to collegewebpro.com, and you'll see this. Then you click on Client Login at the top. Um, again, it's set up to log me in automatically, but you'll be prompted for your client area login information, which is different. That's the email address and password that you originally chose when you set up your account. So if you don't know it, you can always reset it. So you should be logged into your client area now. And I'm going to show you how to reset your cPanel login info from within your client area. So after you're logged into your client area, you're going to click on the Services tab. And then next to the, um, the hosting account that you want to reset, um, just click on the account. And then there should be under actions on the left hand side a button that says change password. So if you click on change password, it'll let you pick out a new cPanel password. So you can put in your password and then just click on save changes. And then you'll be able to use that password um, to log into your cPanel. Looks like you can also click on log in to cPanel and it'll take you right in there from the client area. Um, so feel free to play around with it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm happy to help. And thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.